by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create an interesting rough pencil sketch background texture. Now I'm just quickly going to go over to a new document and I'm going to create a new layer because I want it on a layer so a new and new layer click OK. So once you've done that just go to the pencil tool set the color and I've just got pink there and set the size opacity etc now I'm just going to apply it onto this layer so just going to quickly now avoid the seams because basically what I want is a pattern so I'm just going to avoid going now I'm using a, a mouse which is not the ideal much easier with a pen but I'm just using a mouse at this moment so it's a bit right so I've got that and then of course you can go back and change the color maybe change the size maybe make it a bit smaller always a bit fiddly when you get down to it so sometimes I always find it's easier just to just type it in instead of using the slider which really isn't not very good in many ways it just jumps up to 5,000 or jumps back to one or whatever right so you can just quickly sketch a number of times and again just go over there and maybe change it to seven and change the color but this time I'm going for a red right once you've done that oops so that's a careful thing just to avoid the seams. So I'll just remove that and just squiggle there. Right, once you've actually done that, now just go over here to the background, delete the background. Yes. So you've got a transparent background for your scribbled pattern. And go to edit and define pattern. Click OK. I'm just going to quickly remove that now and now what you can do is go to edit and fill and pattern and script and set that pattern I've just created obviously I've got earlier ones as well just select that and then random fill click OK what will happen it comes up with a little dialogue and you can see what here you've got color randomness I, I can vary the color brightness randomness as well you can see you can create a whole variety of different Modify the density so you can actually just push it straight down, really hardly any difference. Sometimes the preview really doesn't match the end result, so so it's probably go about there. You modify the scaling as well, so make it very small. You can actually see then patches in that, but I don't want that. I want to go maximum up there, and you've got rotate, so click OK, and there you have. Let's say that's why I show you the preview doesn't really always match the actual end result but you quickly create a quick random scale now of course what you can do then you can actually just go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and you can modify that so you can maybe turn that into a green and then you can go back to edit and fill and again use the same random fill click OK see that there modify the scale and run it again and there you have it. You've got a lovely sort of scribbled drawing in a, a few minutes. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.